The new line of Snap-on full-featured wheel balancers are value-priced for fast throughput time and are easy to use. Each of the features on the balancers is normally found on higher-priced models. They're specifically designed to speed up the work through the shop and still maintain a high level of accuracy using Snap-on's patented Virtual Plane Imaging Technology. The EEWB-332A and EEWB-331A models feature motorized operation for higher volume shots. All three models have both static and dynamic balancing modes with five ALU modes to place weights in their proper location. These modes are particularly helpful when balancing aluminum wheels that require tape weights on the inside of the wheel. Input of rim distance and diameter is accomplished by simply touching the safe arm to the rim edge for accelerated setup time. On the EEWB-332A, the hood features an outside sensor to calculate the rim width and avoids measuring the wheel with a caliper. The EEWB-332A is capable of handling wheels up to 154 pounds. The weight tray has 17 individual weight pockets for storage. It can handle wheels up to 20 inches wide and diameters from 8 to 30 inches. It can also handle tire diameters up to 42 inches. The EEWB-331A and EEWB-330A carry the same specifications as the EEWB-332A. However, the maximum wheel weight on these models is 120 pounds. Both of these models have a smaller footprint for shops that may not have that extra floor space. Each of the balancers feature a stadium-style weight tray to provide the operator with easy access to weights. It also includes a shelf on the weight tray for storage. Each of the snap-on balancers have a feature that allows multiple operators to use the machine in sequence without losing their individual settings. Before mounting the wheel on the shaft, check the flange on the balancer and mating wheel surface to ensure they're both clean and free of dirt. It's also necessary to inflate the tire to proper pressure, according to the vehicle manufacturer's specifications. At this time, determine if there is any foreign matter inside the tire. If so, take the time to dismount the tire from the wheel and remove it. Select the proper cone size and place onto the shaft. For a more accurate balance, and especially when balancing clad wheels, it's necessary to use a pin plate and collet system instead of the standard cone. This will avoid damage to the plastic cladding as the standard cone can protrude through the pilot hole far enough to contact the outer shell. Also, the individual pins seat on the lug nut surfaces and are necessary to avoid the pressure cup from directly coming into contact with the plastic cladding. Place the tire and wheel assembly on the shaft and be sure to take extra care not to rest the wheel pilot center on the shaft as cracking of the plastic may occur. Next, slide the pin plate over the shaft and tighten with the quick nut until the inner flange of the wheel is making firm contact with the flange on the balancer. Once the tire and wheel assembly is mounted on the balancer, it's now time to inspect the tire tread. Remove any embedded rocks or debris, along with any existing wheel weights. On the EEWB-332A, the outer edge of the wheel is automatically located by the sonar sensor on the outside of the hood frame. With the other models, the rim width caliper must be used to determine the width dimension. Once the rim width is found, use the rim width adjustment button to select this function and manually press the plus and minus keys until the desired width is shown. Now we'll choose a location to place the wheel weights by toggling through each of the ALU modes and pressing the ALU button. Note the display shows where each of these placement locations are on the wheel. For example, the normal ALU mode is for clip-on weights on the outside edges of the rim, which is the default setting. Extend the safe arm to touch the inside of the rim as shown and hold it there until an audible beep is heard. This automatically determines the distance of the rim edge and the diameter of the wheel. The next ALU mode in sequence 
features a clip-on weight on the inside and a tape weight on the outside location of the wheel at predetermined locations. The next ALU boat is for tape weights at symmetrical locations to the rim flanges where the balancer assumes both positions for weight placement. The next ALU mode in sequence is for a clip-on weight on the rim flange and a tape weight on the outer location just behind the wheel center. The next ALU mode is for a tape weight on the inside edge of the rim and a tape weight behind the wheel center toward the outside of the rim. The next two ALU modes allow you to specify the exact placement of the weights with the SAPE arm. Note how the SAPE arm positioning LED appears in both of these ALUS modes. Select the first position by extending the SAPE arm to the inner location and hold it in position until an audible beep is heard. For the second position, extend the SAPE arm to the outer location and hold it in position until an audible beep is heard. The locations selected now become the exact weight placement locations. We're now ready to balance the tire and wheel assembly. On the EEWB331A and EEWB332A, close the hood to start the balancing cycle. The balancer will bring the assembly up to speed and measure the imbalance. Note that on the EEWB330A, the operation is not motorized and the tire and wheel assembly is rotated by using the hand crank. Once the imbalance is measured, each of the units have an automatic braking system to slow the spinning tire and wheel assembly down to a stop. Do not use the foot pedal to stop the spinning assembly. Once it comes to a complete stop, raise the hood on the motorized models and note the imbalance. Each of the values indicate the amount of weight required on both the inside and outside edges of the wheel. To locate the proper weight placement location, rotate the tire until the green LED indicator light is illuminated. Press down on the foot pedal and hold the wheel at this location. Use the SAPE arm to place the tape weights in exact locations. Be sure to clean the surface of the wheel prior to applying weights. When the correct position is located, the machine will sound an audible beep to indicate proper positioning. Once the weights are placed on the rim, lower the hood to complete a check spin to determine if the display shows zero weight required. On the hand spin model, manually bring the tire and wheel assembly up to speed. If the display shows zero weight required, you may now unclamp the wheel and tire assembly and balance the next wheel. When balancing another wheel from the same vehicle, it's not necessary to re-enter the parameters. On some wheels, it's necessary to hide the weights behind the spokes so they're not visible on the outside of the wheel. The balancer will calculate the correct weight placement behind two of the spokes. To access the spoke mode, you must be in either ALU modes 2 or 3, and there also has to be a minimum of 0.35 ounces of imbalance on the right side plane. Also note the spoke mode is only selectable once the initial spin has occurred. Start by lowering the hood and performing the initial check spin. Now select the spoke weight mode by pressing the mode button until the spoke mode indicator is illuminated. For the right side plane, do not apply weights at this time. Rotate the wheel slowly and observe the right hand display. When the display reads S1, rotate the wheel until spoke number one is at the 12 o'clock position. Press the enter key. Now, repeat the same procedure to locate spoke number two. Once S2 appears in the right side display, rotate the wheel until the second spoke is at the 12 o'clock position and press enter. Now the balancer has calculated the appropriate amount of weight to place behind each of the spokes. Note the individual weight values may or may not be equal to each other. Once the weights are affixed, perform a check spin to ensure the wheel is properly balanced.
The default mode rounds off the imbalance reading to the nearest quarter of an ounce, also called round-off mode. For a greater resolution, select 5 to increase the accuracy to the nearest 5 hundredths of an ounce. Additional functions include user-selectable ounces and grams. Select the mode button to toggle through to the ounce indicator and press the enter key. For metric size tires and wheels, you can select the PAX millimeter button to toggle from inches to millimeters. Thank you for choosing a snap-on wheel balancer. Should you need tech support assistance, the number to call is 800-225-5786.